Hello, so my name is Gracie Olkowski, and today I will be giving my presentation on Frank um, Fertitta III and Lorenzo Fertitta, specifically um, focusing on Red Rock Resort. So I chose this topic mainly because I am a local here in Vegas and um, I have had a lot of experiences with Red Rock Resort, so it hits pretty close to home. So my first slide is going to talk about the early days um, about the Fertitas, and um, I'm going to talk about Frank Fertitta III, the first. So um, Frank Fertitta was born and raised in Las Vegas, and he continues to still live in Las Vegas. Um, he has had a lifelong past in Las Vegas that has led him to support the community a lot and uplift the community as much as he can. So Frank Fertitta has donated to many organizations in Las Vegas, including um, the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, the I Have a Dream Foundation, the Meadows School, the Clark County School District, um, Bishop Gorman High School, Nevada Cancer Institution, Catholic Charities of Las Vegas, um, the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, and the Smith Center for the Performing Arts. So because of his outstanding educational past, um, he has put a lot of um, money back into the educational program to just make it aware and make it an um, important thing in our community is to have good education. So he continues to be a part of the USC Marshall School of Business, um, and he's on the board for that. So my next slide is focusing on the early days of Lorenzo Fertitta, which is the brother of Frank Fertitta III. So he is son of Frank Fertitta Jr. Um, Lorenzo Fertitta was born and raised in Las Vegas, and he has received several different degrees that has led him who he is today. Um, so he received a bachelor's degree from the University of San Diego, and then further continued his education um, at New York University, where he went to the business school. So although he's not necessarily the face of um, Station Casinos, he has done a lot to help improve the empire of Station Casinos and really um, has been a very influential figure in making, what it, making it what it is today. So Station Casinos, um, with the help of Lorenzo Fertitta, has become a $5 billion company and he has also helped his old friend Dana White in uh, starting back up the UFC. So that is also something that he's involved with. So Frank Fertitta III in Las Vegas specifically. So I'm going to talk about a lot of influence that he has in Las Vegas. So Frank Fertitta has had a, has had a lot of history in Las Vegas and he is a very strong influential figure. So he has had a big impact in specifically the growth of Station Casinos, which is one of the biggest gaming th companies. So under the leadership of Frank Fertitta III, uh, Station Casinos has grown into a 17 property company. So Frank Fertitta is also the, owns the UFC through his company Zufa LLC. So since Fertitta purchased the company in 2001, it has grown immensely and is now watched around the world. So the UFC has really taken off um, because of Frank Fertitta III. So he's a really strong influential figure in the UFC. So my next slide, I'm gonna talk about Frank Fertitta's brother, Lorenzo Fertitta, and his involvement in Las Vegas and what makes him such an influential figure in Las Vegas. So Lorenzo Fertitta was born into the Station Casinos family. So it was his father that um, really started the station casinos. So, um, but he has also had his own ways of influencing Las Vegas as a whole. So Lorenzo Fertitta has had significant personal success as well um, um, by buying the UFC. So with his brother, um, Frank Fertitta III. So the UFC was in a hole for a really long time under the Dana White. And Dana White has went to high school with um, Lorenzo Fertitta, so he's a lifelong friend of his. And so um, Dana White came to Lorenzo Fertitta basically asking him to help start back up the UFC. 
So after the help of Lorenzo Fertitta, the UFC took off. Um, Lorenzo used a lot of his business um, knowledge to bring the UFC into Vegas by making certain safety guidelines that would um, allow them to come here to Las Vegas. Some of these include weight classes, judges, point systems, and the limits of the rounds that a fight can last. So the Fertitta brothers purchased the UFC for a small price of $2 million and now have made it into the company that it is today. So Frank Fertitta III in Red Rock Resort, and this is where we really get into their influence on Red Rock Resort. So Frank Fertitta has had a lot of influence in the development in Red Rock Resort. So Red Rock Resort has made stations casinos home base and it manages all the station casinos properties. Red Rock Resort sets a high standard for all station casinos companies because of its way um, of having those really nice amenities and luxury stay that it offers, as well as the gambling experiences. So the idea of Station Casinos Resort is to give an experience not only to the guests that are staying there, but also to give a place for the locals to go as well, which for me, as I'm a local, has been a big part of um, basically um, like where I go to dinner or um, where I go to the movies or go bowling. So in February 2022, Frank Fertitta appointed a new president of Red Rock Resorts, who was Scott Krieger. So Frank Fertitta believed that Scott, that Krieger would um, be a really uh, good person to continue to give Red Rock Resorts and continue to give the guests of Red Rock Resorts the experience that they are known for. So the next slide that I'm going to talk about is Lorenzo Fertitta and um, his influence in Red Rock Resort. So Lorenzo Fertitta has had a lot of involvement in Red Rock Resort with his brother Frank Fertitta III. Um, so it's Red Rock Resort is a staple in the overall empire of Station Casinos. Um, it's basically just a home base for them. So Station Casinos has now been a private company since 2006. That's when they really decided to take Station Casinos um, private. So the overall idea of Station Casino's properties has been to offer an overall experience with movie theaters, bowling lanes, and restaurants. So by giving their guests this overall experience, they're not only creating um, Red Rock Resort to be a just a stay and gamble place, but also a place that you can take your family. So that's why it gives this really family-oriented type of feel, like your um, neighborhood casino. So Station Casinos is a growing company with more properties to come, including another property that is being built off uh, the Durango and the 215. So this one is supposed to be a little bit smaller than Red Rock, but um, still give you that feel of that um, neighborhood resort and casino. So my next slide is about the Fertitta brothers, just in a whole, just to kind of like recap um, them together and the kind of accomplishments that they have had just as brothers. So the Fertitas brothers have had a, load, a lot of overall involvement in Las Vegas as a community. Um, these two brothers have worked their hardest to build the companies of both Station Casinos and the UFC. And they have done a lot of this together like as a tag team to do that. So both Lorenzo and Frank Fertitta III have built a $1 billion enterprise together, making their family one of the most influential families in Las Vegas, if not in the world. So including the net worth of each Fertitta being around $1.3 billion, which is a lot. So the Fertitta brothers um, have had a lot of success with Station Casinos, as well as success going into the UFC business together. Um, so just overall, they're just a powerhouse. So my last slide is just kind of my conclusion about um, my overall PowerPoint. So overall, the Fertitas continue to make Las Vegas what it is today. Um, we would not know what Las Vegas would look out look like with without both Lorenzo and Frank Fertitta the third because. When you think about it, there's so many buildings, even at UNLV, that have the Fertitta name on it. And um, so it would look a lot differently if they um, did not do the things that they did for our community. So 
from setting new standards as a resort and a and a gaming company to donating to different organizations, I strongly believe that the Fertitas are the most influential family in Las Vegas. So thank you so much for listening and I hope you liked my presentation.